artists, welcome to the sixth episode of KB TV. I'm Anandra. And I'm Flynn. This week's episode will focus on community, creating, engaging, and working with. We'll discover how field trips are contributing to an educational outreach. Also how social media is impacting kids in the 21st century. It will cover Beto O'Rourke's neighborhood visit right before the midterm elections. Finally, we'll give you all the information you need to know about the water conservation efforts in Austin. All this coming up next on KVT. It's Tuesday, so it's amazing. Here's the buzz for this week. Educational field trips offer many learning experiences. But did you know that these field trips can educate others too? KVTV reporters Judge Baskin and Alex Edwards give us a closer look. I got two, I got three dollars. For Keeling students, field trips are a fun way to spend a school day. For teachers, they're an opportunity to teach students real life skills outside of the classroom. Yeah, I think um, it's wonderful when our students get to apply the things that they're learning inside the classroom to concepts that are outside of the classroom and they make that real world connection. Though many like field trips and think that they add to their education, some students feel otherwise. I don't think field trips will really increase the ed uh, your education because uh, you can learn just as much or maybe even more in, in your classes. Teachers at Keeling use field trips as an engaging way to get students to apply what they learned in their classes outside of school. So the best way that these field trips help the student learn outside of a classroom is to give them the real experience itself. It's something that's like a field trip really helps the person do and to not just be told things. While textbooks may give students information, field trips can give an experience that deepens their understanding of a subject. This has been Alex Edwards reporting for KBTV. The use of social media sites like Instagram and Snapchat have taken over online. A lot of people don't realize that what they post now stays with them into the future. KBTV reporters Naomi Pearson and Nora Zumel investigate the use of social media on teens. Social media is a way for people to connect with friends and share ideas. And whether you like it or not, it's here to stay. Um, just like talk to people and see what other people are doing. Despite its popularity, social media is not all fun and games. There's a dark side to having everyone you know only a click away. Yeah, um, common things are either someone writing or posting a picture of someone else who didn't want that writing or, or picture of them posted. Um, and so that's something that does carry very serious school consequences. Students should avoid putting things on social media they might regret later on in life and be mindful about the type of information they post. Really choosing your likes and wanting to be liked. Like maybe posting once or twice, maybe once every two days or so. Social media has its time and place. Share wisely. This has been Naomi Pearson reporting for KBTV. In current day society, social media is widely used for political purposes. Candidates and their supporters use it to keep people posted on events and news. Last week, Twitter exploded with U.S. Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke's campaigning in Austin at a rally just outside our school. With today being the official election day, students might be interested to know why voting matters. KBTV's recurring segment, People in Our Neighborhood, returns with a look at this rally. Power and that energy, and you've converted it in... On October 22nd, early voting began, starting the official process of choosing our new Texas Senator. Parents and teachers who voted this year made the choice between Beto and Cruz for Texas Senator, based on their personal beliefs. I'm voting because I want uh, the issues going on in the country are alarming, and I want to make I want to make a change. 
The voting age is 18, meaning Keeling students aren't able to vote yet. Because of this, many have questions. It's important to me that people register to vote and become voters because our elections have consequences and people need to have a say in their democracy. Texas has a pretty bad voter registration and voter turnout. Um, and I think that if we're all going to take part, we all have to do our part by voting. The official election day is on a weekday, the second Tuesday of November, which means it is inconvenient for many people due to their work schedules. In Travis County, we have about a week of early voting before election day on November 6th, and that gives people from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. to get to the polls. Regardless of your political views, Voting is a fundamental right for every American. This has been Skylar Jones reporting for KBTV. Thanks, Skylar and Samir, for that in-depth look into the important role state and national government plays in our everyday lives. Closer to home, city government has been busy dealing with the recent water crisis, shedding light on why it's even more necessary than ever to conserve water. KBTV reporters Caroline Crosno and Mackenzie Waldron give us more information. Two weeks ago, citizens of Austin experienced a great water scare. Our water had silt, and the students and staff had to boil and use bottled water to stay hydrated. Many students were shocked by the unhealthy news, but Mr. Hendricks, the Parks and Rec teacher, was already suspicious. I wasn't necessarily surprised after riding my bike around the lake and seeing how thick the water looked. It looks like chocolate milk or worse. Many people have seen how dirty the water is with the silt. Some people have noticed the odd color or taste. The process of cleaning the water has proved to be a difficult challenge. We have good uh, dedicated staff working hard to improve our water plants and try to um, correct the situation. Keeling families have been working hard to stay safe by boiling tap water and drinking bottled water. Although we have overcome the boil water situation, lots of students were very worried and didn't know how long it would last. Maybe it'll take a lot longer than they say, like months, maybe two months, a year maybe. Though the boil water notice has ended, it's important to remember the quantity and quality of water we use daily. The bigger issue is conservation, so we're trying to use less water. This has been Caroline Krosno reporting for KBTV. Even though it will last forever, the Water Conservation Initiative gave us important information on how to conserve more resources. Here's some more information coming from our sponsors. This is Senator Ted Cruz. He was born in Calgary, Canada, and he moved to Houston, Texas, which is where he grew up. He is now running for re-election for Texas Senate. Some issues he believes in are education. He is against Common Core. Common Core is a set of standards for what kids learn in schools. He strongly disagrees with Obamacare. Obamacare is an affordable health care for all Americans. Ted Cruz strongly disagrees with this. Strong belief that he has is that Americans should increase their border security and increase illegal immigration. Vote in the Keeling School election on November 6th. Hey, have you heard that election day is November 6th? I did it. Who's running? Well, there's two people running, but we're only talking about one in this ad, so... His name is Beto O'Rourke. He's the Democratic nominee for the Senate, even though he's already representing Texas in the U.S. House. Well, what does he stand for? Beto stands for many things, like more gun restrictions. He believes there should be more background checks, the age minimum should be raised, and that the types of guns being sold should be limited. Hey, are you guys talking about Beto? We are! Oh my god, I just learned about his policy on public education. He believes that more money should be dedicated to teachers and that there should be less standardized testing. Well, I better go vote. Me too. Me three! Thanks to Ms. Luber's party politics class for helpful information about today's mock election. Remember students, even though it's not the real election, your vote counts, so choose the candidates you feel most strongly about. Well, that's all we have for today. This has been Flynn. I'm Alondra. Thanks for watching KBTV.
Keeling's number one source for news and information.